Hello everybody, welcome back here to franktortorici.com. <clears throat> As always, I'd like to welcome you. Uh, today is April 18th, Monday, 2011. And I just wanted to touch on briefly, uh, I'm always trying to keep up to date with current events and things that are going uh, pretty viral on the web. And I noticed an article that uh, the New York Times published last week, and it's just reiterating uh, with Dr. Robert Lustig's foundings of The uh, Bitter Truth of Sugar, a book he published uh, probably a year or two ago. And the the article is just resurfacing again. He just recently did a lecture that I caught on YouTube that you guys can see. Uh, he's a medical doctor, very, very impressive uh, scientist, philosopher, doctor, whatever you want to label him. I think he's all. But basically, in, in, this, in this lecture that I watched on him and the article that I glanced through in the New York Times, is a lot of his findings and what he's touching on is the link with sugar and obesity and diabetes and all the arrows are pointing towards the connection of sugar and diabetes and obesity etc. But one of the things I want to touch on that I think the bitter truth about sugar is that really isn't discussed much is what I've found through my studies over the years is the link between sugar and cancer. Okay and it's a very simple type of a philosophy here. See, the body does not recognize good sugar from bad sugar. So for all you guys eating processed sugars out there, it's, it's just wreaking havoc on your organs, on your, on your whole system. Okay? When you're getting your sugar from fruits, which is really is, is the only place that you should be getting your sugars from, it's a different story. Okay, when you're eating processed sugar, it's just tricking out your glycemic levels, giving you that insulin spike. There's no nutritional value from high fructose corn syrup, from processed sugar, from white sugar. There's no value. All that's doing is just adding that sweetness to the food. Okay, when you ingest fruit sugars, you're not only getting the fiber from the food, which kind of helps to offset a little bit the insulin spike because of the density, but you're also getting phytochemicals, phytonutrients, minerals, enzymes, loads of different vitamins. So, as you can see, when you try to outweigh good sugar from bad sugar, you can see the difference. But now, the actual body, your, your glycemic levels, they don't know the difference between good and bad sugar. But when you are eating bad sugar, in particular, you're basically feeding a lot of yeast growth in the body. See, we all have parasites and worms. It's pretty gross, I know, but something we all have to get over because it just is what it is. So we all have parasites and worms. But, parasites and worms love and feed off of sugar. So think of it like this, like when you're putting sugar into your system, you are now creating uh, an ecosystem in your intestines for yeast to form. When that yeast forms, you now start developing which is called candida. Candida is just an overgrowth of yeast in the intestinal lining. Okay. Now when you get that intestinal lining filled with yeast, now you start developing uh, more parasites and worms developing. And why does that happen? It's very simple. When you're on a high sugary or a high carb diet, it creates, again, the yeast growth. When you have that yeast growth, picture your intestine, all of that starts filling up with mucoid plaque and yeast and types of fungus growing in there. And it kind of acts like a sponge. I like think of like a cotton ball being stuffed into your intestine. That's kind of what yeast growth looks like in the intestine and how it develops. So now when you have stagnation in there, you now start developing more fungus. And that fungus then carries over into your bloodstream. Now when you start getting fungus in your blood and in your intestines, that's when you start having lack of oxygen flowing through your bloodstream. And now Cancer 101, from what I've learned over the years from a lot of profound different naturopathic doctors, is that when you have stagnation in the body and lack of oxygen flow, that's when cancer forms. That's why we were always raised the, with the, learning the importance of eating your fruits and vegetables and getting adequate exercise every day. And why is that a case? Because very simple, fruits and vegetables and exercise help promote oxygen through the blood because there's nothing about them that's going to create stagnation within the intestine or within the blood. So, when you start watching your sugar intake, especially the processed sugar intake, you actually decrease your chances of any type of cancer, 
of diabetes, of cholesterol, of high blood pressure, any of that, because you're limiting the amount within your arteries and your bloodstream and your intestines of stagnation. The key is to minimize the stagnation within the body and everything else functions properly. So I hope this answer so it gives you a little bit more clarity, a little bit more in depth uh, I know the, the lecture I watched on the, uh, from Dr. Robert Lustig was just touching on more of how Coca-Cola started introducing more sugar and the different types of sports drinks. And yeah, if you guys haven't seen this lecture, check him out. Just Google him on YouTube. It's Robert Lustig, L-U-S-T-I-G. Very profound man. Uh, but yeah, all the soft drinks, energy drinks, cereals, they're all toxic, they're all garbage, they're doing nothing for you but creating a downward spiral of health. So I hope this video gives you guys some more insight onto the bitter truth about sugar. Again, you could always check me out at www.franktortorici.com, that's T-O-R, T-O-R again, I-C-I. -I. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and if you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button right here in the corner. It's a free subscription to my channel. You'll see videos posted on a weekly basis. If you have any questions, feel free to post comments. Shoot me emails. I will address your question either through the email or if it's a cool topic, something I haven't touched on, I'll address on it through a video blog. Okay, so I'd like to thank you guys. Pass these videos along to your family and friends. Again, health starts right on our plate. That's where it all begins. And to pass this message along to all our family and friends is gold. I want to thank you guys. Peace and love.